I don't think I've ever bought that since that day, ever. And we're here. <laughs> we're at, wow. That's a huge jump in price. I can't even remember what I made with that. What a weird product for me to buy. Happy birthday to me. Now, it's not my actual birth birthday. It's my channel's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that I have been on YouTube since 2016, which puts me at... I am good at math. Seven years. My channel is seven years old. Hallelujah. And I thought for a celebration, we could go back <laughs> and react to my very first grocery haul on YouTube. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get into it. Oh, the free iMovie. <laughs> no music. Very good, very good, Christine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here's my haul from Albertsons today. I wanted to take advantage of their case lot sales that they were having, and this will be included in part of my uh, $200 a month grocery budget and once a month shopping stuff. So we'll go through everything and then... Why am I pausing so much in between each word? <laughs> oh my gosh, and also, why am I shaking the camera around like crazy? I'm like, oh my gosh, Christine, hold the camera still. Hold the camera still. And like, there are a ton of long pauses in here and I'm hating myself for not editing those out. Like, what am I doing? I remember totally doing this grocery shopping because I think I'll talk about it. The cereal was 99 cents a box with no coupons needed. And I think I was shopping for maybe four months in advance. So yes, it looks like a crazy amount of cereal, but it's not like we ate it all in a week. Show you how much it costs. So they're having a case lot sale on cereal. They're 99 cents a box when you buy 12. So I got 12 boxes of these fake mini wheats. And then I kind of mix and match these, the cinnamon toast crunch and the why am I like punching all of the cereal boxes? What is my problem? Like, I understand, I, I probably would have totally done this deal again if it were offered today, but I'm like hitting all of the boxes and I'm talking really weird. I don't know. I'm having a really hard time watching myself right now. This is proof that you can have a very successful YouTube channel and be very bad at it at the beginning. <laughs> Yikes. So 24 boxes of cereal. Uh, they had a deal where if you spent $25, you got eggs for 99 cents a dozen, which is awesome with the bird flu that's going on in the price of eggs. Oh my gosh, the bird flu. I remember this. Birds? Yeah, birds. This was seven years ago. All the egg prices shot up. You couldn't even find eggs. The shelves were empty. I feel like we've been having that a few times because we just experienced that as well, I believe. But eggs were 99 cents a dozen. I still think that's an excellent price. I would buy that upside down and sideways all day long right now. As I'm watching this, I realize this looks like a really crazy combination of foods. Eggs, a ton of cereal, and frozen green beans. Like what the heck are you gonna do with that? And I get that question all the time. I buy things when they're super cheap and then I shop and meal plan from my pantry based off of those very inexpensive items. So on a week to week basis, I really don't have to buy very much, if at all. Hey, sorry for interrupting the video. So as I'm going back looking at this, the biggest thing I notice is how much I've changed. All the things I've experienced since I filmed this video, and you know what's happened since then? A lot. Uh, a lot of us have been through some stuff in the last five, six, seven years, and something that I've always been a fan of and am still a fan of is taking care of your mental health wherever you can. So huge thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I've learned amazing things in therapy. One of the most important is how to communicate effectively. So whatever it is that you might be dealing with, or you wanna learn some tools to help cope with some difficult things or relationships in your life, I'm a big fan of talking to someone who has the education and know-how to help you in your life. With BetterHelp, you don't even have to leave your house. You can do your sessions with a phone call. You can do a video chat. It's super convenient to you and your schedule, especially if you don't have the options of traveling to somewhere else. And to get started, all you have to do is fill out a questionnaire and in most cases you'll get started within 48 hours. If you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. You can use my link down in the description box. It will help save you 10% off of your first month with BetterHelp. The website is betterhelp.com slash frugal fit first link in the doobly doo below. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring and let's get back to more <laughs> very, very young baby Christine on YouTube. <laughs> and then I got a case of ramen. Uh, I think the whole case is like $2. $2 for a case of ramen. 
I haven't seen that price in a while, but if I did, I would still buy it. I just think you need an emergency case of ramen, emergency case of mac and cheese. Because on those nights when you're really, really tempted to just like run and grab your raisin canes or run out to Panda real quick, you're gonna blow your budget when sometimes you just need to be fed really, really quickly. I still think ramen tastes really good. I will eat some ramen. And I don't eat these at all, but my daughter, uh, my 11 year old daughter loves them for lunch. Okay, I, I just said that I don't eat these at all. To be fair, I really don't eat them that often. It's usually when I'm sick, but I do like it. <laughs> How about that? And that's all, that's all I got from Albertsons. And my total, 36, 64. $36 for that huge pile of food. That is amazing. <laughs> I'm amazed at myself. <laughs> I've got my shopping list I have written out already. I have all my menus for the entire month. And since I already spent $36, on the cereal, I'm hoping to stay around 125 for today, uh, which gives me a little bit extra to pick up some milk, eggs, and uh, you know, some like fresh lettuce or something as the month goes on. I noticed two things in this clip. Number one, I think I'm driving my Honda Odyssey. Man, that's a great car. I love that car. I drove that Odyssey for eight years. Number two, this was before I had braces and the braces changed the shape of my jaw and they like moved my upper jaw forward. So my face shape is totally different. I look very different. That's interesting. And we're here. <laughs> we're at. Oh, that transition. Oh my gosh. We're at a discount grocery store. It's a uh, really small. Kind of dinky, little sketchy. Wow, store. the lighting, Christine. But, but, good night. Uh, they have really, really good deals on bread, and I do need Ziploc bags. And the, they're the store that gets like the dented boxes of cake mixes and cereal, and they sell them for cheaper. And so a dented box of Ziploc bags, psh, I don't really care about that. I am talking so much in this video, and I've definitely stopped doing that, like describing every single thing. The key to video is show them, not tell them, right? Best thing about Winco is their bulk section. I just wanna show you this. Steel cut oats. Oh, look at that price at the steel cut oats in Winco. 64 cents a pound for steel cut oats. Those right now, they're about double. It's about $1.10 right now. Still better than all the prepackaged. The bulk bins at Winco, I stand by, are some of the best buys at any grocery store. I should go back to Winco. I haven't been in a while. I'm looking for cereal. sesame seeds right now. They also have cereal. And who is that talking? Is that Haley? This is, <gasps> yeah, mini wheat. Gotcha. Here's a quick update. Haley's voice changed so much. As I'm looking at this cart at Winco, if I didn't already know myself and what I already had in the house, I'd be like, how are you gonna feed your family for a month with that? I totally get it, which is a comment I get a lot. Even back then I had a big freezer in my basement for excess proteins and things I got on sale. I would, I would make the whole meal plan and really take a look at what I already had. And when I shopped like this, I'm telling you, I had almost zero food waste. It's one of the big money wasters in your grocery budget right now is food waste. I know that for a fact. Most people buy things because they're like, oh, I love avocados. I'm going to buy those. But there's no plan. Two weeks pass, your avocados have turned to brown mush and you're like, oh, good intentions went to die in my produce drawer and they go in the garbage. And when I was shopping like this very heavily where I was extremely meticulous about the meal plan and only bought things for that, I didn't throw anything away because I used everything. I realized how much people throw away and how little you had to throw away by meal planning really, really carefully. Uh, please excuse the squeaking. My son's playing with a toy downstairs. Okay, so this is gonna be everything from Winco and Smith's and the discount store I just stuck. If you were here before I redid my kitchen, give me one of these in the comments if you remember those old countertops. Wow, I hated those. <laughs> This bread was free at Smith's because they have a free downloadable digital coupon on Fridays. I totally miss the Kroger free, Freebie Fridays. Do you remember that? They haven't done that deal since COVID, I think. 
I haven't, I haven't seen those deals since COVID. I really miss those freebie Fridays. Those were fun. Winco has awesome price on this four pack. It's $1.98 and I love peach yogurt. Winco had that Dannon Light and Fit Greek for under $2. Wow, that was a good deal. I would buy that today. If it was that price today, it's not. Holy smokes, that was great. This double cheddar, this is like for a cheesy hash brown sausagey thing. This ragu double cheese thing. I don't think I've ever bought that since that day. Ever. I can't even remember what I made with that. What a weird product for me to buy. And then I also needed flank steak, which you can see is not what I got. Their flank steak was like $9 a pound, and then the two pounds I needed ended up being $18. And $18 for meat for one meal is like crazy town. I still think this is accurate. First of all, this is before I started buying my beef from farmers or ranchers, which is what I do now. In fact, I just purchased a quarter cow like yesterday. So I typically don't buy beef like this anymore, but this is a great example of how you can do a, an ingredient swap for something that's cheaper. So I needed, what did I say? Flank steak for the recipe, but I needed two pounds. It would have been $18. And I got this thin sliced, I think it's rump roast for carne asada at $3 a pound. It's thin sliced, it's gonna work the same. So I think I paid, uh, it's a little blurry, but $7, I think I paid $7 for this instead of 18, just by doing an ingredient swap for a cheaper protein. And I always recommend that. Two ham steaks, each one is gonna be for like a, a bean soup type of a thing. Oh my gosh, look at the price of these ham steaks. 286 each. My local store has these for almost $10 now. Wow. That's a huge jump in price. Also not planned, but my husband loves this Mio Energy. I've tried the store brands and he just doesn't like them. So Mio it is. We don't buy those Mio Energies anymore. Dave says we're not allowed to buy energy stuff anymore. <laughs> we're really trying to cut back on the artificial sweeteners. So I already showed you Albertsons was 36. Winco was 74 after tax, 70 before tax. So I was right on with my calculation. Kroger was 12 and then the discount store was 13. I added them all together and I spent, so can you see that? $137.25. Wow, I did really well. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little shocked at myself actually. I think if I did a one month meal plan based on what I actually had in the house right now, I bet I could match that. Cause remember I gave myself a little wiggle room for like fresh like milk and bananas throughout the rest of the month. So on a goal of 200 a month, I bet I could do that now. Well, I just bought a quarter cow. So there's that plus all the clearance stuff I always do. Oh my gosh. Would you guys want to see that challenge? Can I eat out of my pantry and only spend $200 for an entire month using up what I have? <gasps> Wouldn't that be fun? I haven't done one of those in a very, very long time. That would be quite the challenge. Let me know what you think about that down below. If you want to see that, like this video if you haven't. If this video gets 50,000 likes, 50,000, I'm gonna do a low budget as possible, cleaning out my pantries for an entire month and I'm gonna film it for you guys. And that leaves me with 60 to 275 left to spend to restock on milk and you know, some fresh veggies as I start to run out. And that is my spending so far for the month of January. I don't have much to say other than I am very good at grocery shopping, <laughs> number one. And number two, I think this is proof that you get better at things by doing them. Can you believe this video got 42,000 views? I am shocked. I am shocked at that. I'm just telling you, if you wanna do YouTube, you should just start. I think you can. I think you can do it and learn as you go and your first video is not gonna be perfect, clearly, <laughs> but it could be fun anyway. So thanks for joining me today in this reaction video of myself for my YouTube channel's seventh birthday. And remember, if you wanna see me do another challenge just like this, where I feed my family on $200 a month or less by using up what I have, 50,000 likes on this video. That's what I need. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next video. Bye.